In this video, I'm going to write a C program that can delete a specific line from a file. So here I've got a file, and the file has eight lines of content. My C program is going to ask for the line number to delete, and it's going to be able to delete that line number from the file. Now there's several ways we could solve this problem. We could read all of this data from the file into an array. We could delete the line in question, and then we could overwrite the original file. Another way we could solve the problem, and this is the approach I'm going to take, is we could create a temporary file and we could read all of the data from the original file and write it into the temporary file, except for the line that we want to delete. And then we could delete the original file and give the temporary file the name of the original file, replacing it with a new version of the file that has that specific line deleted. So let's actually implement that solution to the problem. So to do this, I'm going to need several libraries here. So I'm going to include the string.h library because it has several string handling functions that are going to be useful in our solution. I'm going to include stdlib.h because we're going to use a couple functions from that as well to delete the original file and rename the temp file. And I'm going to include the stdbool.h library because I'm going to use a Boolean value at some point as well. Now the first thing we're going to need is a couple file handles because we're going to want to open the original file and we're going to want to open a temp file. So I'm going to say here file star file for the original file and star temp for the temp file. I'm going to actually ask the user to enter the file name just so that way we could run this program with different files. So I'll say car file name and we'll make an array to actually store the file name. Now I'm going to allow for very large file names and I'm going to give a very large maximum file name size. So I'll say number define file name size 1024. So a very large potential file name size just to be generous. And then we'll make a similar array for storing the temporary file name. So I'll say temp underscore file name and then file name size. We're gonna need a couple other things as well. For every line that we read in from the file, we're gonna to have to store it into some kind of character array as well. So we're gonna make a buffer array for doing that. I'll say car buffer. And I'm gonna say that lines of a file can be even larger. So I'll say number define max line, and I'll say 2048. So we're going to say that the maximum length of a line can be even larger, 2048 characters, and that should be able to handle most reasonable files. So we'll say car buffer max line. And then we've got to have some line that's going to be deleted. And we're going to ask the user which line to delete. And we'll store that in a variable as well. So I'll say int delete line is equal to zero. And that's what that variable is going to store. So we'll ask the user to enter a file name first. We'll say printf and we'll say file, and we'll just ask them to enter in a file name. And we'll store whatever they enter into the file name character array there. So we use scanf to store whatever the user enters into the file name character array there. Then what we're gonna do is we wanna create a temporary file. So to create the temporary file, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the file name that's entered, and we're gonna put temp with four underscores in front of it. So I'm going to copy into this temp file name character array, the string temp, and then four underscores. So that's going to be the prefix of the temporary file name. After this, I'm going to use the same name as the original file. And I'm going to concatenate that to the end of this. So I'll say str cat, and this is going to concatenate to the end of this, the original file name. So str cat, and we'll say temp file name, and then file name. So string copy is going to copy into this temp file name character array, the prefix string temp underscore 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 underscore. And then I'm going to concatenate onto the end of it, the file name. So if the user enters something like say file.txt, then the temporary file name is going to be temp underscore 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 file.txt. 
And that's what we're going to use as our temporary file name. And we just chose this because this is highly unlikely to be a pre-existing file name. That would be a very, very, very unusual pre-existing file name. So that's why we're, we're choosing that. Then we're going to have to ask the user which line to delete. So we'll say printf and we'll say delete line and we'll store what they enter here into the delete line variable. So we'll store whatever they enter there into the delete line variable. Then we're gonna to have to actually open both files, both the original file for reading and the temp file for writing. So we'll say file is equal to f open file name r. So this f open function is gonna open the file with the file name that the user specifies. And it's gonna open it in reading mode. So we're gonna be able to read from this file. And it's gonna return a file handle and it's gonna store it into this file variable here that we created for storing a file handle. And then we'll do the same thing with the temp file. We'll say temp is equal to f open temp file name. Only for this, we're gonna say w here. So we're gonna open up this temporary file for writing. So we're gonna to wanna to write to this file. And we're gonna write everything from the original file into this file, except for the line that we wanna delete. Now, if either of these fails to open correctly, if there's some kind of problem, maybe a file with this file name doesn't exist, fopen is gonna return null in that case. So if either file or temp is equal to null, we've got a problem. One of the files didn't open correctly. So we'll just handle that case here. We'll say if file is equal to null, or temp is equal to null, something went wrong. One of the files didn't open correctly. And we'll say here, printf, error opening files. And then we'll return one. So we'll just let the user know that there's some kind of error opening files. And when we return one in the main function, that's gonna exit the program and it's gonna exit it with this one status. So the shell here, the terminal, would actually see that status and it would know based on it being one that something went off, something went wrong in the execution of our program. And that's in contrast to when our main function returns zero, that's actually a signal to the shell, to the terminal here that everything was okay. But now that we've handled this error case, the next step is gonna be to read the data from this file and then write it to the temp file, except for the line number that we wanna delete. So I'm gonna use a bool value to detect whether we should keep going or not. So I'll say bool keep reading from the file is equal to true initially. And that's basically gonna be our signal for when we're done. Then we're gonna to have to keep track of the current line in the file that we're reading. And initially we're gonna be reading the first line of the file. So I'm gonna say int current line is equal to one. And we have to keep track of the current line that we're reading because eventually we're gonna to go to delete the delete line say line four or something like that. And at that point, we wanna know that the current line is equal to the delete line, so we know to delete that line. Then I'll say do, and then I'll have while, and I'll say while keep reading is true. So, so long as keep reading is true, and it is initially set to true, we're gonna keep going. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna read in each line of this file, and we're gonna write it to our temp file, except for the delete line. When we reach the end of the file, that's when we're gonna set keep reading to false because at that point we're done. At that point, we don't wanna do any more reading from the file because we've reached, we've reached the end of the file. So I'll say here f gets buffer max line file. So what f gets does is it reads in the next line from the file with this file handle. And it'll read them in sequentially, one after the other, each time it's called. So each time f gets called, it's gonna read in the next line from the file. So first it reads this line, then this line, then this line, and on and on until the end of the file. And it's gonna store that line into buffer, into that character array that we made to store each line of the file. And it's gonna read up until max line number of characters, which is more than enough characters for our purposes here. And so now the next thing we're going to want to do is detect whether we've reached the end of the file, because once we've reached the end of the file, we're done. So I'm going to say here, if F E O F file, keep reading is equal to false. 
So FEOF is a function that's going to look at our file handle and it's going to determine if we've reached the end of the file. So once we've reached the end of the file, FEOF is going to be true. And at that point, we're done. We don't want to do any more reading. So we're going to say keep reading is false at that point. So we're going to stop the loop at that point. Else, if this isn't true, so else if, if this isn't true, if the current line doesn't equal the line that we want to delete, we want to write this line to the temp file. So I'm going to say here f put s buffer and temp. So f put s buffer and temp is going to write the content from the buffer into the temp file. So in other words, take the line we just read in from this file and write it into the temp file. So long as the current line doesn't equal the delete line. So when the current line does equal the delete line, we're just not going to write that line of content to the temporary file, effectively deleting it. Because if we just don't write it to the temporary file, it's not going to be there. It's gone. So then we've got to increment the current line each time. So we've got to say here, current line plus plus, because we have to keep track of the current line as we're reading each line in the file here. Now, when we're done this, the temporary file will look just like the original file, except for we'll have deleted the line we want to delete. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to close our access to both files. We'll say F close file and F close temp. And we're going to close both those file handles because we're done. We don't need those files anymore in terms of accessing them with our, with our C file handling functions. And then the last thing we're going to do is delete the original file and then rename the temp file to the same name as the original file. So I'll say here, remove file name, and we'll delete the original file. And the remove function, it actually comes with that stdlib.h library. And what it's going to do is it's going to delete the file with this file name. Then we're going to do a rename next. So I'll say rename, and we'll say rename the temp file to the original file name. So this is going to rename the file with this name, the temporary file name, and it's going to give it the same name as the original file. So now I've written a lot of C code here. The odds of this compiling without an error are pretty low, given how many lines I've just written. But let's just give it a shot and see if it works. So we'll do a compilation here. And yes, there had to be something wrong. Uh, so it says print delete line. So let's just check that out. Looks like there's a print that's wrong. Oh yes, that's not, that doesn't make sense. It's gotta be print F. Okay, hopefully that was the one error. So we'll do a recompilation here. Okay, it looks good. So now we'll run this here. So file, I'm gonna say file.txt. And for the delete line, I'm gonna say eight. Let's delete the last line of that file. So I'll say eight. Now if I look at file.txt, it looks like this. We deleted that last line of the file there. I could run it again and I could say, okay, file.txt, delete line four. And if I look at the file again, line four is gone now. And we could try to delete the first line as well. So we'll run it one more time. I'll say file.txt, delete line one. And if I look at the file again, line one is deleted now. So now we have this C program that can delete a specific line from a file. Check out PortfolioCourses.com, where we'll help you build a portfolio that will impress employers including courses to help you develop C programming projects.